Well, thanks for taking the time to come out with me today and talk about the schools. Um, you've been here, what, two years now? Just completing my, my second year. Yes. Yeah, and so what do you think of Gresham? Um, I like Gresham a lot, yeah. um, good community. Well, we're glad you're here. You've done, you've done a great job with the district and uh, have created a new uh, energy, I think, in the district that uh, you, is certainly palpable from the instructors and the teachers and the community. I think people feel really good about where things are going and we're just pulling up to Gresham High here and of course you stepped in right at the beginning of a bond project. Yes, uh, we have 18 different projects. I am excited about the learning environments that we're creating yeah, for students. Yeah. Um, and some kids are getting to actually watch it in progress. Yeah. So that's pretty neat. When it's you, been really cool to see the to see the um, the construction workers, you know, really involve the youth and mm -hmm. and have them be a part of it, which Absolutely. has been really cool because it's you can see it peak in the interest, particularly in the even middle school, but the call, or the um, high school kids, mm -hmm. you can see it peak in their interest. Okay. Let's go take a look at uh, see what the Gophers are up to. That's right. All right. So one of the challenges was fourth grade class, Cal Valley, a challenge to design some items that would really need to help in the classroom. There's also collaborating with others, problem solving. And then awesome. we actually showed them a little bit of how our 3D modeling works. the exact same size and layout as the state itself. So this will be a lot of time. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be the auditorium we got goosebumps. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't expect that, but unbelievable what's going to be here for the kids. I mean the, the, the learning environments that we're creating are I'm I'm impressed with, but I'm even more so hopeful and potential that it will provide our kids yeah. for beyond high school. For me, this is more than just about educating kids. It's about how can we prepare kids to contribute right here into this community. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's almost like creating an economy. It starts right here. Yeah. So, invest. Yeah. Well, it's true. I'm it's very appreciative of the community investing in our kids because I know that it will triple the value that they will contribute to the Absolutely. community. Absolutely. Well, as I said, the community is definitely excited about all these projects and I know everybody keeps driving by Gresham High and saying, man, it's almost yeah. there, it looks so good. So I know everybody's gonna to wanna to come in and check it out when it's done, but a lot to be proud of here. So great work. Yeah. 284 classrooms this summer. Awesome. That's all. Awesome. Well, the facilities are, 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 are I'm, again, I'm, I'm very hopeful for what it will provide our students yeah. opportunities with. Uh, but some of the programs too that we have that will kick off this fall. Yeah. One being the um, uh, dual language program right, right. At, um, at Highland. Part of our, our board's vision is to create kids, uh, prepare kids to be culturally responsive in a global community. Yeah. And how can you do that only speaking one language? Um, also, there's lots of research out there that, share, that shows that students who are dual language prepared throughout their um, educational career actually end up being cognitively significantly uh, better achievers yeah um, and so we're starting with kindergarten um, in one class at uh, Highland we asked that question what do you want to see in our in our in our, our graduates yeah um, and so those competencies are things like the success skills that we know makes anybody successful no matter where they are going right. things like collaboration right. um, communication right. um, critical thinking skills, you need that no matter what task you have. You need a lot um, more of that. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. So we have those competencies that will guide our work as we look at curriculum adoptions, uh, the content and, and the way in which we, we teach um, the project-based learning, right. which you saw a little bit of with the benches there, that, right. that project-based learning where you're allowing kids to not only just regurgitate what they're learning on a, an assessment test. It, but to really truly apply it. Yeah, it seems like there's more professional development happening uh, with the uh, with the teachers and instructors. And um, I know you're, you know, um, always pursuing continuing education and Absolutely. always learning. And it seems like you've placed a high uh, priority uh, mm -hmm. to the staff on that too. And it, and and I think that only makes the district stronger. All right. Well, here we are at Pleasant Valley Elementary, and we're going to pick up Dr. Coakley, the superintendent okay. of uh, Centennial, and put him in the car and chat it up. 
Yeah, how about you? Uh, this year we started a engage in a community and a facilities process. Yeah. So we're working with the DLR group and uh, we've got a parent liaison from every school involved. So that's something new and we're really next year we're hoping to just get more parents to really start serving and seeing what people are um, you know think would be beneficial. Yeah. But every single building we want to do something. Yay. Yeah. Yeah. Like that's the original too. Like, Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> so now you grew up in Gresham, right? Yeah. So you're I, a gopher, right? Yeah, I graduated from Gresham High School and went to Gordon Russell and Hall. So yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, it's exciting to like. And then you went to the dark part side of it again, right? right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's it like leading in your hometown? Yeah, I'm really, uh, I really like it. Uh, it's just. Uh, great to like run into people that you knew from high school yeah. and also um, even in the neighborhood where I grew up uh, several of the neighbors are on Gresham Rotary oh, uh, good. with me so yeah, yeah, yeah. when I saw the opportunity to come back to East County it was like I gotta do it yeah yeah so it seems like a lot of opportunity in your district right now with in terms of the new growth that's happening in Pleasant Valley and and that sort of thing yeah our elementary schools um, are really um, growing a lot so that's one of the things is just uh, working to balance out class size we're gonna go by Centennial High School up here but how many how many students are at Centennial um, yeah. we've got close to 1300 there yeah and then um, when you go right past the front you'll see a bus uh, in the parking lot, which is our Food for Families bus. Oh, that's a great program. Yeah. yeah, and that was actually started by our um, Future Business Leaders of America students. Yeah. And one of our board members, every Wednesday, it's packed and they're um, awesome. providing food for um, families in need. Anyone can come to it. And you'll see like a huge line going around the building. The, ki the, the students that are doing the work are passionate about it, too. Yeah. I mean, and, and I think that that has such, you know, that affords them such life-changing skills, I think, in order to engage on that level with, you know, um, people is just, uh, I think, will pay dividends for them for a long time. Perfect. Well, let's go get Dr. D in. All right. <laughs> so, Dr. Diaz, thank you for joining us today interested to hear a little bit about what's going on at Reynolds School District. You've been on the job now for a little bit of time. What do you think? It's, I'm having a wonderful time. Thank you, you so seem much. Like it. Oh my yeah. gosh. Yes. I'm working with great people, dedicated and loyal, very gifted and, and, and intelligent. Yeah. And so one of the things about being su successful is about surrounding yourself with masterminds. And I believe that I've, I've hit the sweet spot. Yeah. I am really working with great people that are going to help us move the district to the next level. Yes. Well, yes. I, I know a little bit about hanging with people that are smarter than you because I'll have it be noted that I'm the only non-doctor in the car right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was talking to um, your colleagues about sort of this excitement that is out there in the community about schools and mm -hmm. um, I know each one of you has like been very forward and out there in terms of social media and, and kind of getting your message out and, and the school district out. And I think it's just had a great positive feeling and impact uh, yes. to the community. So great job. Yes, yeah, I, yeah. Love, I love Twitter. Yeah, yeah. I hear continually from people how excited they are about each one of the districts. It's not, it's not just one district, it's all of your districts and kind of where the community is, uh, you know, in, in terms of, you know, moving it forward. And there's also seemingly to me more of an emphasis on education mm -hmm. in East Multnomah County, Gresham, than there ever has been. And, and uh, it's nice to see the kids in, in all of our communities out here get new schools and new right. things because it's been like, you know, a generation or two since they've had anything new. And, Boy, you can sure tell the difference. Like. Wilkes Elementary is one of the brand new schools and we're very excited about it. It's in Gresham. Uh, we have a wonderful principal and we have great teachers and staff there. They are just so 
motivated to do what's best for our students. Um, the new things that they're doing for our chronic absenteeism initiative, yeah. our principal actually handwrites notes to students to tell them um, thank you for being here today. Um, it's just phenomenal, the, the beauty. And um, we have a brand new playground. I mean, it's just wonderful. And our family engagement is, is high at this school. That's so, great. Well, so here we are at Wilkes. This is beautiful. It's beautiful. You want to Do we get a play on the, on the playground? Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> It just seems like we have such a moment of time in our community where we have um, incredibly talented superintendents that uh, the community respects and trusts. Um, we have good governance in the municipalities. The business community is engaged and it seems like um, we're getting real serious about education and there's some great next steps that we can take. I want to leave you all with just knowing that we are a partner for each one of you. We're completely I'm 100% focused on children and families right now in the city. I mean, that is where all of our work is centered right now. And so I would just say anything that we can do to help. Thank all right. So Thank you all. Appreciate it. Thanks for the opportunity. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you.